able to apply uh, bracket order and cover order, right? So already that uh, broking house already blocked that uh, bracket order or cover. So you just can use, uh, you are able to use bracket order and cover order for intraday today. So when you're going to place buy and sell, can you to use bracket order today? Okay, using MIS. Okay, okay, bracket order. Mm -hmm. Using MIS, bracket order. When you're going to place bracket order, so today, uh, broking company, most of the broking company, they are bracket order and cover order because of high volatility. I think everybody knows, right? Today, market uh, bank nifty almost 1500 point gap down, open neck gap down. So I don't want to discuss about like what fundamental is going on exactly, but uh, so I'll show you technically where to enter and where. Yeah, it's a very bad and even, you know, today I gonna uh, to use bracket order because when we are, we are going to place buy and sell in any stocks. So for the intraday, basically I use bracket order. All right, because why I'm using bracket order? Because when I'm going to buy somewhere, so I'm following uh, risk reward ratio, right? If I'm placing one R and I'm placing two R, uh, I'm taking two R profit. Means if I'm going to place one rupees SL, means I'm going to earn two rupees. So that is why I'm exactly hitting somewhere uh, when I buy or sell order and I'm placing one is to two ratio, my target. So I can't I can't trade today uh, because of uh, the market order because I never trade without using stop loss and target. That is my rule. For the positional trading, that that will be different thing. All right. But intraday, I never trade without having bracket order or cover order. So I strictly follow. We never knows where market will go. All right, that is the main thing. Who knows that yesterday, today market going to open more than 1500 point. All right, nobody doesn't know about that one. So that is why I don't wanna take that much of a risk because I have a trading system and trading claim and I always trade by using that system. So you just tell me one by one who is stock I need to explain today. Okay. Okay, crude oil. Okay, I will discuss one by one, one by one because, so my recommend is that today's market high volatility already uh, price dropped down. So there, I, I don't think so. They will give the big move again. All right. So. Today, according to my analysis and my view is, I'm telling you, my view is that I don't wanna trade in stocks today anymore because I don't wanna enter every day. I don't wanna enter in this market every day because I need a specific and the rules and which is moderated market. But we have seen here today market is high volatility, every stock held down more than 100, 200 point, 1000 point like that, bank nifty like that, uh, nifty like that. So I don't wanna enter. Today is wait and watch. All right, don't be greedy so that every day, uh, there is no rule like that every day you need to enter in this market. All right, so sometime you have to wait and watch. So I have seen this is a big gap up, a gap down open, right? So bracket order, okay, bracket order and cover order. 
MIS. Yeah, it's a very sim uh, simple. It's a, you know, uh, MIS and packet order. Normally, there is a two order, so one by one. Uh, let me explain one by one bracket order. So, bracket order means what is the meaning of bracket? So, bracket means like that this is the bracket. So, whatever are there, there is a range, like all right, that is the bracket. That means so, somewhere here you want to go, you want to enter for the cell. That means you are setting somewhere target here and you are placing SL somewhere here, like SL and target tech profit so it should look like a bracket so you are covering everything right in between this area so that means we place our sl will be somewhere here and target will be it will all right okay one by one okay any marker okay crude oil so crude oil i'll, I'll explain crude oil eh? yeah so i'll show you exactly okay just dial just dial okay bank nifty so bank nifty i think so stay away from bank nifty today all right so let me stable this bank nifty all right so it will be it will be good yeah, monday users say whoa uh like this market monday or tuesday tuesday will be good all right so it will it will take two days at least to stable this market just a dial okay just a dial okay one by one any market okay crude oil so crude oil will explain details all right so let me show you just a dial what is this just oh, just a minute just dial this is the just dial and how it should look like this every stock fell down so that is why i'm not to take any position in this market but we have seen there right we have seen every market and i think four to five days ago i given some stocks for intraday so i told that in every stock uh pointing toward the downside so i'm looking for sell in every stock so here you can see clearly we have seen whatever i told that uh, just the dial is running in a downtrend but most of the people are doing big mistake in this area okay they are creating higher high higher low higher high higher low so it will go up but remember that is the wrong concept and entering people somewhere here by somewhere here by so that is the big mistake so here we have seen everywhere we have seen sell opportunity sell opportunity somewhere uh, here sell opportunity or sell opportunity so everywhere we have seen now you can see price just the drop down from this area. you can see i think let me show you exactly what is the point was there uh, just a minute let me check it all right now at that time here see price was around 175 or let's uh, take 480 all right round figure now price dropped down 40 point now its current price is for for two or zero something like round figure so we have seen price drop 40 rupees from that area now most of the people are thinking hey price will uh continue to add a downside or some people are thinking hey it will again push up to this area but <laughs> sorry what happened exactly who people are looking for sell in this area that is very risk why because this price is too far from moving averages right i think in my previous webinar all that what is called this is area of values all right far from this area so that is why there is no trade opportunity next some people are thinking hey price will uh, push up again toward this area remember trend still running in a downtrend we never knows in which direction price will go or it will continue or it will push up 
but in that case we must wait to a moving average uh, price should be near this moving average all right price should be closer moving average now there is a two option are there option number one either the price will uh, retrace toward moving average number one and another opportunity uh, another option price will stay like that here in this area and automatically moving average will close closer near this price all right it's there are two opportunity uh, two option are there right now now question is that who people are looking for buy in this area and expecting price will push up toward this moving average it will be a risk because sometimes price stay like that if price goes sideways then automatically moving average will be somewhere here all right so that is why there is no buy opportunity and there are no buy and sell opportunity all right okay that is why i told that just to wait and watch the market let be stable this market all right uh okay bank nifty bank nifty okay bank nifty also same just have a maruti okay maruti let me check it maruti uh maruti where is maruti Maruti, okay. So here we have seen still running in a downtrend. There was a big spike today. And right now you can see here, price are still running in a downtrend. And exactly near this resistance line. Where is the resistance now? Now you can see we have seen multiple rejection in this area. <laughs> Somewhere here. And price you can see price hit the moving average 20 and pointing to our doubt side all right and we have seen big spike today morning but stochastic are giving buy signal so it is probably to retrace again again sell down the price so that is why we don't want to enter in this market so let me check it next in the sin bank bank banking sector is too bad situation with them because everybody knows about yes bank what going to be happen all right in the sin bank where is the in the sin bank in the sin bank that one nine so all are running in a downtrend you can see in the in bank given a little more correction from this area so here you can see let me check it how many point felt in the in bank from this area let me check it from this area price drop 150 point 150 point fell from that area price just open the gap down and price again push up right now i can see again they are pointing to our downside so volatility so don't enter in this market today so because uh intraday you can't use bracket order and cover cover order today because all book uh, broking firm block the book bracket order and cover order so i don't think so you people can tra trade today because in intraday we use bracket order and cover order right and you can say most of the people are thinking hey i'm a swing trader so i'm not using bracket order or cover order and i gonna use it like i gonna buy in a normal right so by seeing this volatility or gap up or gap down open don't try to enter uh, for like uh, don't to, don't uh, try to be a like swing trader uh, so i always telling you that you just wait to stable this market all right so in in the in bank we have seen somewhere sell opportunity sell opportunity and a sell opportunity 
and there was a sale opportunity who people sold here so i think they are getting huge profit but here you can see trend is running in a downtrend so uh, we don't have any buy opportunity most of the people are thinking hey that is a buy opportunity that was a buy opportunity and that was a buy opportunity but if you want to see according to the moving averages in 15 minutes they are running in a downtrend so when price is running in a downtrend so why are you looking for to be a counter trader All right counter trader is a very risk so most of the people are thinking hey i want to buy here some bullish signal i have seen so think who people bought here by seeing this only so you can see now that guy is panic all right so in that case uh, we have seen all our sell opportunity next the maruti indus in banks are please start a course on commodity sector especially on crude silver on training birds okay 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 so i already have that course uh, so i have already so because uh, for few days we are creating an online trading uh, platform so that is why i just stopped that course and i'm gonna give online course all right and the first course was uh, that was physical course and people are directly uh, visiting my office or some of my uh, coursing places and at that time uh, most of the people are from outside they are not able to uh, come from that area because some people are staying in delhi some people are staying in chennai bangalore kerala or northeast like uh, gujarat maharashtra but it is not easy to visit right if i'm sitting in mumbai or very difficult to visit from other side. So we are deciding and we are creating a platform uh, to, uh, it will be online. Like we are, right now we are live in webinar, right? So that course will be live. All right. So they will, they, they will stay with me. There will be audio facility. There will be audio facility. Now here we don't have audio facility, in, right? In a webinar, but online have audio facility. Like uh, uh, somebody are teaching you in front of you, and you can ask him directly, right? Like voice are available. Now here voice are not available, right? Some question have suppose you have question, so you have to write. It is very difficult to explain by writing some questions, some thought. All right. It is very easy to explain by uh, by using your voice like that. So we are we are we are giving that facility and that online course will be good. I think you you people can learn from your home. No need to visit any place. All right, that will be good. So very soon I am going to release. Okay. So that course will be a hand holding course, and exactly I'll show you where to buy and i'm not going to show you exactly uh, i'll buy uh, in your uh, like in my account according to your analysis suppose i'm going to teach you at that time what i'm teaching you if buy opportunity then the life market i'm gonna buy all right okay silver nerf 50 moving average from 15 minute time frame waiting for 100 ema bounce or 50 okay okay nice question brothers are so let me let me explain silver right <laughs> okay uh here i can see this is the silver so i already uh I think already are there, right? I given some resistance and support in my student like that. So I just, I wanna remove it. So here you can see silver is bouncing like that. Now, here is a different scenario. All right. So first you can see price was running in a downtrend. Somewhere sell opportunity, somewhere sell opportunity, somewhere sell opportunity, somewhere sell opportunity. But here you can see price was 
jumping and like a gap up and gap uh, gap down open and uh, in in that area now you can see price are running above moving averages right running above moving average so in that case we must find out some criteria what criteria we need now most of the people are thinking hey can i buy can i and some people are thinking can i go for short now question is that you know which you will go when price is running in a downtrend we are looking for sell we are looking for sell all right we are looking for sell we are looking for sell all right now in that area price just trying to run toward upside now question is that can i buy here now some people are thinking can i sell here again it will downside in that case we must find out the range and support and resistance and trend three things we must know about the market remember when you want to enter any market whatever market stocks commodity forex whatever doesn't matter so always focus on three things what is the three things first always find out the trend all right trend okay on not only in a small time frame always find out at least day one day one h4 trend <laughs> sorry h4 trend h1 trend and at least 15 minute trend you just find out the trend in all time frame where they are running now next find out the support and resistance where is the major support and resistance why is it important i'll explain in silver all right next support and resistance all right support and resistance third range of this market that is also important range in which range and where price is running right now three things always find out so let me show you here in crude oil as a, sorry not a crude oil what is this silver all right so silver first here you can see price was running in a downtrend now they just broke this uh moving average 200 and question is that is it running in after right now can i go for buy so before you enter for the buy or before you deciding to enter only in buy direction we must find out the the range and trend in a large time frame so first let me show you daily daily price was running in a uptrend all right daily price are running in a uptrend remember so if price are running in a uptrend what is that in this area or if price is running in a uptrend in a daily then 15 minute what is that that long rally so most of the people are thinking hey price are running in a downtrend they are uh, the downtrend are start right not exactly if you want to see in a daily time frame this is called retracement but this is called retracement remember now let me show you the support what is the support is there now i can see i just connected most recent point what is the most recent point let me show you we have seen there was a rejection somewhere and a rejection from this area price hit and reverse back again a rejection hit and reverse back all right and when we connect at this uh, rejection point, we have seen exactly four, three, five, one, six. This level, all right, means this level as a support. When price is running in a uptrend daily basis, so we have seen there was a correction, and that that correction point, that retracement point, is this. This is the retracement point. Got it? Means they already hit this 
supporting line and again reverse back now question is that it will continue toward the upside so in that case we must find out some resistance now uh, so most of the people uh, comes to know how to identify support and resistance let me show you uh, let me explain very shortly or quickly basically i looking for most rejection point most recent rejection point and moving average i basically used to find out support and resistance all right so in that case we have seen some rejection point or higher points so somewhere here or somewhere three point i want to connect now question is that here why i'm not connecting here i'm not connecting here why i connected in this area so in that case i want to connect most recent point so some people are using like that so don't be hesitated uh, so i just connected most connected uh, rejection point in this area so i have seen multiple rejection here here somewhere here here a little more frack back out and here and uh, somewhere here all right and the next the rejection point we have seen somewhere here all right that is also rejection point and somewhere we have seen that is most recent rejection point so means this is the support or oh, sorry resistance now for the support we have seen some rejection point in this area so we have seen this is a support and a resistance in a large time frame that's it that means this is a major support and a resistance all right so when price retrace so at that time we have seen there was simple moving average and 200 simple moving average exponential moving average both are forming as a support is a probability to reverse back from so we have seen there is a more confirmation one confirmation was price was previously they are rejecting rejecting from this level now this level and here we have seen moving averages are there so means that area is strong support it is a high probability to reverse back from this area so we have seen some support and resistance in a large time frame we have seen they are running in an uptrend now in a h4 chart we have seen prices running in a sideway why sideway because the price is running in this range and the price is running in between these moving averages all right in between these. when they are running like that means the market is sideways remember now let's jump to h1 chart how it should look like in h1 chart let me zoom a little more so h1 chart they are just broke this moving average 200 so once they make this uh, break this 200 it is probability to continue toward the upside why why we are we are uh, confirming that not 100 percent sure remember it is a probability all right so it is a probability that it will continue toward upside because why because in a daily time frame trend is up and they given already correct they already uh, given a retracement now they are pushing toward upside all right so in that case now you can see uh, we have seen some support and resistance now we have seen this is a support here is the resistance here is the resistance like that uh, somewhere support somewhere support like that so in that case uh, once we confirm that trend is running toward upside, then we are looking for buy. So now question is that where is our buy opportunity? So first we have seen there is a buy opportunity above four, six, uh, nine, one, seven. There is a buy opportunity. Next, if price retrace again, there will be another buy opportunity around four, five, four, one, seven. All right, once again, if price break this level around four, eight, two, three, that will be another buy opportunity. So we have seen there are three buy opportunity. All right, 
Now question is that when price will hit this level, right now you can see price exactly near this uh, resistance line. Can I buy here? So most of the people are entering here exactly buy. That is a wrong entry point. Why? Why this is the wrong entry point? People are entering here because in that area we need a buy confirmation. Buy confirmation. So we have seen two retracement somewhere here. Exactly, we have seen there is a moving average 20. It is probability to bounce from 20 moving average because we have seen net daily that is a rejection point and forming as a support. So we are looking for a buy signal this supporting line above this supporting line we need a buy confirmation so in that case or in this area you can use your indicator most of the people are using rsi most of the people are, are using mscd most of the people are using uh, cci stochastic fibonacci whatever super trend Bollinger, Bollinger band, whatever you just apply in this area. Remember, indicator should be appear in a right place or in a key point. This is called key point. If any indicator giving us buy signal, then it will be a buy opportunity. Most of the people are entering blindly here buy after that price breakdown. So they are thinking, hey, this indicator are not working for me in their psychology. That is the wrong concept. And now we need a confirmation. Now we can see most of the people are entering by using our stochastic or something like that. Now we have not seen any buy signal given by stochastic. There is a no buy signal occur right now, till now. If stochastic giving us buy signal like that buy signal stochastic giving us buy signal then it will be a buy opportunity so in that case so let me use uh, what called this mscd crossover let me use mscd crossing is it there any buy opportunity or not now i just used the mscd mscd already given sell signal but trend is up Going, looking for up, but we will not go for short, right? Because we are not going for sell because trend is now uptrend. Now we are looking for buy only, remember, we are looking for buy. Now stochastic are not giving buy signal even. MSCD also not given any buy signal. So once they give the buy signal, that will be a buy opportunity, otherwise, the signal will be invalid. Most of the people are entering, hey, uh, let's go here giving a buy signal, sell signal. So let me let me show you an example here in this market. All right, so most of the people are thinking uh, using by stochastic. All right, let me show you some fact signal, how to identify fact signal. Now you can see in this rally. All right, so now you can see in this rally, all right, so in this rally, who people catch the trend is down now from this area, <laughs> that guy. So let me let me give an example. There was a two guys, one and two guy, both are trader. All right, both are trader. All right, and here, this guy trade only by depending on trend and this guy trade only depending on stock uh, sorry uh, mscd so let me show you this guy confirmed that trend is down so he is looking for sell all right he uh, he is looking for sell somewhere he is sold here somewhere here he is sold here right but this guy he is doing like somewhere buy here somewhere sell here everywhere he is doing buy buy sell somewhere buy sell uh, sell buy sell here uh, again he buy here again buy here so you can see this guy going what going to be happen many time he have seen fake signal when stochastic giving 
buy signal that is the buy signal little more gone up again price drop down and after that uh, hit their sell this guy but this guy is a systematic trader he is looking for sell only he is somewhere sold here sold here somewhere here he have seen some sell signal he sold here all right and somewhere he has seen some sell signal he has so sold here so you can see how profit is there this guy and this guy often hitting their sl because he is a not trend following trader right somewhere giving buy signal he bought somewhere here uh, bought somewhere here after that price drop down because uh, most of the time giving fake signal that is the important thing now you can see right now you can see somewhere in the buy signal uh, we have seen somewhere buy signal yesterday and who people bought here look what going to market crash down all right sell is doing good job because trend is a downtrend is it clear why people are <coughs> doing big mistake okay moving average i'm using all are uh, exponential and 20 50 100 150 and 200 all right gail so all are falling down have you got it where is the anti point exactly all right why sbi is on downtrend does it have any impact in yes bank stack so sbi is still not not now sbi downtrend last few year sbi is on downtrend all right most of the people are thinking sbi right now downtrend not exactly sbi right now downtrend sbi last few year they are running in a downtrend so let me show you sbi and Now most of the people are thinking, hey, SBI is running in a downtrend. Some IPO is coming, yes, banks like that. Not exactly. You can see in a daily time frame. SBI last few last uh, from you can see from 19, 2019 November, SBI running in a downtrend. They are not able to get new high. They are not able to create new high. According to the projection method, SBI is running in a downtrend last one year. So if you wanna see by using uh, trend line, diagonal trend line, SBI just create a new high and a retrace again, again push up toward this level, reverse back, again hit the level, again fell down, again hit the level, again fell, again hit and again fail that is the technical pattern you know sbi is still running because if you want to see about the sbi fundamental so i don't want to explain about the fundamental uh what exactly we are looking for but they are not giving that much of profit or return according to their fundamental analysis all right there is a different method so that is another analysis. So here you can see as best running in a downtrend. So I'm not interested to invest in SBI anymore. Whatever they are using IPO card or whatever. They are going to uh, take over the ES bank. Whatever they are going to do. But I'm not interested to invest in SBI. If I invest in SBI. So whatever return I'm expecting from other company, I don't think so SBI will give me. All right. If they're giving 10% to uh, like 7% to 10% in a year return. So I'm not interested in a stock market. I'm not expecting 7% or 8%. If you keep your money in your bank account, so they are giving like, five to six percent i don't know exactly how much they are giving right i need more than 20 percent return per year in a stock from stock market all right 
So I do, I, I'm not expecting that SBI will give me more than 20% return in a year. So that is why I'm not interested to invest now. So if they are giving some confirmation by confirmation, so definitely I'll invest. So most of the people are thinking, hey, SBI is extremely uh, over uh, a yeah, lower point. Now you can see in a, this is the weekly chart. So in a weekly chart, you can see SBI is still running in a downtrend. So most of the people are thinking, hey, uh, this is the lower point. It will revert back from this area. And uh, now we have seen there is a two, five, uh, seven is a lower point. All right. And it will bounce to 320. All right, 320. So almost uh, 80 rupees, uh, it will bounce. But according to my analysis, you can see, uh, according to the candlestick pattern, weekly chart, we have seen that is a small candle followed by a large candle means still bearish momentum are increasing our method is that when momentum are increasing toward the support or resistance line it is a high probability to break this level so here we have seen similarly we have seen that was a small candle followed by a large candle who knows followed by even larger candle so still i have not seen any bullish confirmation so i am not interested anymore who knows they will create a new lower low or it will bounce but i need a confirmation without any confirmation by listening other by rumor i don't want to enter if you wanna enter in this market by rumor or, or uh, listening other that means you are not an analyst you are not using proper knowledge so we must use our proper knowledge if you want to see balance sheet profit and loss net income growth ratio debt everything sbi is not performing very well and if you want to see in a technical chart their seller momentum are increasing I don't want to enter so if suppose in that area they form bullish candlestick pattern bullish engulfing pattern all right large momentum stock uh, stochastic uh, crossover something like that if they confirm me so definitely i can go for here for the buy for the long term all right is it clear okay yes bank stack okay can you please explain bracket order and cover order? Okay, sure, 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 sure. I'll explain about the cover order and bracket order. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm. okay. Swing trader by option buy is uh, okay that is a very interesting uh, yeah mr khan mujamik khan yeah i'm a very uh, okay you you asked me that question because i trade and that in that uh, in that method all right <laughs> so before i explain that the swing trading option mr ravi yeah mr ravi very simple there is a no loading in bracket order and cover order bracket order means you are buying something here you you buy something here that means you are setting your target and placing your sl both are you are placing in a bracket order all right in a cover order you are buying something you are placing sl there is no target that is the cover order simply very simple in a cover order cover order and the bracket order in a bracket order uh, there is a three option entry sl target and cover order entry and sl only there is no target very simple is it clear very simple okay mm.
swing trading order okay swing trading swing trading okay swing trader uh, by option buying is uh, is it good or not because i am a option trader and basically i am a swing option trader all right so basically i use that method swing trading option because why i let me tell you suppose uh, somewhere here swing trading how we use here so suppose uh, this is the market and here we have seen there is a range all right let me let me let me explain here weekly chart and this is the weekly chart uh, let me draw something like that then you comes to know properly now uh suppose uh, forget about it then uh, let me zoom a little more okay now it's okay now suppose here this is the um, what is that this is uh, sbin okay suppose sbi is running like that all right sbin and is running like that and they are running like that all right here so suppose uh if i'm thinking that sbi will again hit this level all right so within like one week two week one month in between of like two months in between this area sbi will hit this level because they are running in a range in this range all right so we are thinking sbi will again hit this level so in that case suppose uh, forget about option trading you just come to normal trading so in that case what you will do somewhere here we will buy right somewhere we will buy here somewhere here and we will place our sl uh, a little, uh, little more below this area suppose our sl is somewhere here sl all right our sl will somewhere here and that is our target tech profit now here i can see if price goes against me it will hit my sl suppose uh, uh it is one r all right <coughs> how many point you are buying it should depend on your values right so one r is there and there are two r our profit means if price goes again you will lose your one r so suppose uh, forget it uh, one r so uh, let me tell you uh, 100 point all right 100 point and here you will get 200 point for example right this is the normal option, a uh, normal trading. If price hit and they uh, goes a little more down, and again, if it goes then, then you lost that hundred point. It will not recover. All right. So in that case, what I am using, I am buying option. I trade in option. So what is my trading option here? So in that case, I'm buying call option, I'm expecting and selling call option. All right, I buy call option, suppose here running uh, 269, so suppose I'm buying 270, uh, 270 call option and i sell uh, 390 call option all right in that case i'm doing like that all right so what is the what is the benefit of uh, option trading in a swing trading right by using this method if price goes against me right if price goes down from this area 
I lose only call option premium, whatever, when I'm going to buy what is the strike price. So most of the people knows about that, right? And at that time, selling, uh, selling, uh, sell side will give my profit. All right. So it means it will hedge, right? Again, suppose here was my normal trade was SL. So when we will hit my SL, so that means I'm not going to earn. So it will come out from the market, but option there is nothing like that. If price goes a little more down, further down, and again, it's recovering. So I can earn. If price is staying in between zone, you know, so that means I'll get benefit from time decay. That is why I'm using that option trading strategy. So in an option trading, I'll show you exactly how we trade in swing trading. All right, that is that is the most benefit trading strategy in an option for the swing trading. Okay. Moving average normally I'm using 20 moving average, uh, 50 moving average, 100 moving average. All are exponential. Remember. And at 150 and 200, all are exponential. Uh, MT4 is different. Okay, what is the different MT4? Okay, let me check it once again. MFSL, what is that MFSL? What happened? Yeah, I'm still uh, falling down, right? Every stocks are falling down. There is no stock who is running toward upside. How we can uh, decide trade in on daily basis trade? Uh, in one hour 15 minute time frame okay uh, so downtrend is please clear about identity trend uh, okay how we can decide trade if daily basis trade is uptrend and in Devendor Prasad is asking, okay, most of the people have, uh, this is the big, uh, big issue or big problem. Let me show you, let me take any stocks uh, bouncing from here, okay. Okay, because all, more, all prices, price fell down, so there is a no option to show you. Uh -huh. And I show you life market, but all stocks fell down. Okay, uh, let me show you. This is uh, McDonald, uh, McDonald, McDonald. All right. And now, Mr. Devon, the process is asking me. Okay, this. Okay. So now you can see in this area, they are running in a up trend in H4 chart, right? So means in a large time frame, H4 chart, there is a up trend. All right. So if you want to see in a up trend, there was a 200 exponential moving average. That means this is a. All right. Now we confirm that trend is up in a large time frame. Up from this area, let me show you. From this area, from this area, I'll show you. In a 15 minute chart, where was that area? Let me show you. Yeah, in a 15 minute chart from this area, it is running in a downtrend. From this area, I drawn this uh, vertical line, all right. From this area, they're getting lower, low, lower, high, lower, low, lower, high, and bouncing from moving averages, bouncing from moving averages, bouncing from moving averages. 
Now, question is that, can I go for sell again here? Answer is no. Why? In a H4 chart, there was running like an uptrend, in an uptrend, and in H4 chart, they have given a correction. All right. They have given a correction now. These corrections are somewhere just a little more above this supporting zone. This is the support, supporting line. All right. Or you can say supporting zone. This line. Exactly this line is supporting zone. And in between this area in a small time frame means here in a small time frame, there was running in a downtrend in a 15 minute. But H4 chart, it look like that. It's giving a retracement somewhere moving average are there. Already they place a support. All right, that, that is the support. Now you can see here. Let me show you. Have you got it? That was the rally. That was the rally. Right. In a H4 chart, they are running in a downtrend and they have given this correction. This is the correction rally. But this rally in a 15 minute chart, it's showing a downtrend. All right. Okay, just a minute. Yeah. Now, this really, you can see in a 15 minute chart, they are running in a downtrend. Have you seen it? This is the downtrend, but most of the people are thinking, hey, it's a downtrend. But in a large time frame, that was a retracement, exactly not a downtrend. That was a retracement. Exactly, we have seen price hit this supporting line. Now they are ready to run toward upside, but still they are not confirming. Once they break this 200 exponential moving average, so we'll clear that trend is now up. Means in a H4 chart, they complete the retracement. Now they are ready to again push up this price to the higher. Is it clear? H4 chart, it is a retracement. All right, they're creating like a higher high, higher high, higher low, higher high retracement higher low now once they uh, break this uh, 200 moving averages in 15 minutes will continue that it will go toward upside all right now they are running in a downtrend now it is going to complete this downtrend and after breaking these 200 moving averages means the train already completed for our retracement. Now they are ready to go upside. Clear, Mr. Okay, nice. Who is you need the best uh, to decide entry and exit point in commodity market? So you just use at least multiple uh, indicator, all right? And in is applicable in a right place. So as I already told you that we need a specific entry point and in specific entry point, if they are giving buy signal, that is the valid, otherwise it's not working. When you are starting option trading strategy, so option trading strategy, so uh, first, you must know basic of uh, option trading. <laughs> so definitely, I'll I'll show you uh, trading strategy. What is the profit and why option trade option swing trading is better than normal stock uh, swing trading. Any possible to trade crude oil? Uh, that meeting you just say avoid the market because. They Will be every direction they are running. If you place your SL, so they will hit your SL, and again, price will run opposite direction. So that is why you always stay away from this market in a big uh, news or inventory time because don't try to catch every point. Everybody knows there is a high volatility. So why you people are looking for uh, to catch the every point? All right. So stay away from this market at that time and wait 
proper trending market when they are running a proper trending market and at that time you tra trade you just enter in this market how to no retracement is completed retracement is completed means at that time we are using some supporting line so that is why in a silver i already explained how to identify the silver uh support and resistance in the support and resistance we we are looking for a confirmation either it will break or not all right if they are not able to break this supporting time frame when they are trying to reverse back then we confirm that they are go up because they are going to reject again that supporting point all right so intraday if you want to scalp trading so i use one minute chart or otherwise you can use five minute or 15 minute or 15 minute chart it will take uh, it will be like a large uh, what call uh, sl but in a small time frame it will smallest sl less uh, less sl point will be there So very soon but you can register with uh, i'll i'll i'm creating that on every post will be available on website definitely i'll promote that website and you can join directly from there and automatically 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 they'll show you when going to uh, uh start next the best the syllabus everything will be displayed all right so you you can join there and definitely you cannot how how to sort list this okay and a stock uh, it's a very most important questions people are asking it's a very difficult to um, uh so is the stocks point are there right so everybody have a big uh, problem how to find the stock how to pick the stock point are there that is the most important thing because everybody knows there are more than thousand and thousand stocks in a stock so we can watch uh, every stocks right very difficult so in that case what exactly i does i always trade in nifty 50. all right i'm talking about trading i'm not talking about investing i'm talking about trading in a trading i always trade in nifty 50. in a nifty 50 that means this company under and 50 best company so i'm looking for trade in that company but 50 stock also too big right so i can I can't uh, watch every time 50 stock. So I just uh, reduce my stocks to 10 only. All right, why? So I just find out the range uh, 500, 500 to 1000. I just find out my range. All right, in between these range uh, whose stocks price 500 to 1000, uh, among that nifty 50 there are almost uh, seven to eight but by taking 400 stock it will be 10 stock so here you can see my stock like bpcl ntpc vertical hcl i tech mm icici bank upl grossim axis bank sun pharma cipla tata steel so all 50 and the range between 500 to 1000 all right somewhere one or two stocks less than 500 and they are about 400 so i'm focusing on in these stocks only all right and exactly suppose that tomorrow i'm going to trade stocks right tonight i'll find out the space entry point if price comes that level so i'll buy or sell if price not uh, if price are not able to hit or reach that level i'm not going to trade all right because i'm very disciplined trader i never 
uh, jump any stock by listening other hey this stock is running like uh, like like that so i'm not a greedy i don't want to catch and i running bus i have uh, some specific stocks and every day because when i'm analyzing these stocks year by year day by day year by year so i can i can catch their behavior i can catch their behave behavior right so i can catch their moves right uh, suppose if you you have a many friend right who are staying with your friend so you know his behavior what type of behavior because you are staying with him year by year what is attitude what is the behavior communication skills what he exactly does so everything you know because you stay with him same thing when i'm analyzing year by year so i comes to know what type of stock how they are running right so that is why i'm uh, i just uh, observing and analyzing these stocks only and if i'm getting buy opportunity so definitely i'll buy if there are no buy signal are occurring i'm not going to trade all right that is the important thing all right so already one hour we completed and uh, so i hope you people are able to understand right uh so Okay, so trading strategy option. I think you can you can visit to my website, and I am I am writing about that. So, thanks for giving your valuable time. And uh, next uh, webinar, I'll show you uh, next Saturday, not this Saturday, next Saturday, and I'll show you five best technique how to identify the trend. So basically, I use moving average. And instead of moving average, there are various type of uh, indicator where we can confirm the trend. I'll show you best uh, five way where we can identify the trend, either it is uptrend or downtrend. All right. Thanks for uh, giving your valuable time. I hope uh, you people are able to understand a little more what I explained. So thanks for your giving your valuable time. See you next uh, Saturday. Thank you. Bye-bye.